All right, guys, I know it's been a... Man, it's been more than a minute. So, this whole subcast is really going to be about uh, one of the reasons why I've uh, been gone for a little bit. You know, uh, Cerebral Stars and Podcast is still here. Uh, Coach Tyler will be with me here in a little bit. Um, maybe not today, tomorrow, whichever. But we will be back at, at it with you guys for some more content and some more stuff. Uh, on that one, we'll probably talk a lot more about wrestling and some of the other things that's going on with Final X, and we've got a few other things uh, already highlighted that we want to talk about. So, But I was going to use this time to, one, kind of explain uh, why we hadn't put anything out the last couple of weeks, and then just kind of go over that some more, because I think it's just really important stuff for really kind of everybody. So last two weeks we hadn't recorded. I was out of town, was down in Charleston for two weeks. Uh, the first week I was taking a class. No, the first week I was helping facilitate a class, and then the next week I was actually taking a class. And these are arts classes, uh, so they're uh, Clea and Clea Gifted and Talented. So they are time that I spend during the summer, um, pretty much like professional development, if you want to look at it that way. And I think it's really important to do these things. Um, one, as an arts educator, it's great just to be around other people that are in my field. Um, yeah, we've got some really cool people at my school that I get along with real well and we work really well together, but we're a small group of educators that are in the arts field. So we don't always have professional development time to spend with like a room full of other arts educators. And we're not just talking about visual arts like myself, but we're talking about music, uh, we're talking about strings, choral, uh, we're talking about, <clears throat> excuse me, dance, theater, I mean the whole realm of things. It's really cool to be around a lot of other people. And the first week is always really busy, or when I do clear when the one I help facilitate, it's really busy. Uh, we're working really hard, we're working on lesson plans, we're just trying to become the best teachers that we can possibly be. And I think it's important to do that, um, one, because we're around other art ed educators, but two, like it's a time to hone our craft. And I think it's really cool that we can spend that time honing our craft, working on doing things, and overall just, you know, working on becoming better teachers. So I think it's a really important thing to do. And you've heard us talk about uh, previous podcasts where we've talked about surrounding, surrounding yourself with like-minded people and just doing different things so that you continue to grow. Uh, you have a good support group and all those things. And really, I think both these classes um, this summer were exactly that. They were a time to be around other like-minded people, um, especially since they were in my area. And it was a chance to grow meet new people, and just do a lot of different things. I really enjoyed it. Um, you know, and kind of like flipping, uh, not really flipping the script, but kind of relating it to, since this is also a wrestling podcast, you know, it's the same thing. My guys that are on the high school team, um, actually some of my middle school guys that are also transitioning over uh, as well, they were also, you know, getting ready to go off to wrestling camp and stuff. Oh, see that little one over here. Yay! Huh? What is it, Buggy? You want to come in here, too? All right. And then I miss my these guys for, for two weeks, too. But I'm back with them. We're doing some different stuff. Huh? And he's bouncing on the bed over here. Hey, what you doing, Buggy? Since he just finished his reading, we're going to start doing your stuff here in a minute once I get done. Okay? All right. So, uh, we'll see. I mean, okay, I'm going to pause for a second here. That's my little man. Bye-bye. <laughs> All right. Okay. You go over here. You silly. You silly boy. Okay. All right, so back to where I was. Um, well, I'll kind of edit that up a little bit. But so, like I was saying, my high school guys and my middle school guys, they were out to wrestling camps. And same as being an arts educator, what really what doesn't matter whatever it is that you do, whatever your, your profession is, whatever it is that you are passionate about, whatever it is that you're working on doing, if you have an opportunity to better yourself and work in your off season or whatever season it might be, take advantage of that. Uh, we had wrestlers, some of my guys went to Chattanooga, some of my guys went to Newberry, and they were around other like-minded people. They were around other people working on things and just uh, continuing in their craft as well. And I really think it's awesome that we have people that are willing to do that. Uh, the second week that I was gone, uh, I was taking a class, and this one was for the uh, recognized gifted and talented in the arts, so that I could get my gifted and gifted and talented uh, endorsement. So, and I thought it was really cool to spend time focusing in on something that we may not normally get to focus in on during the school year. And again, it was great being around it, uh, great being around people 
that were just as passionate as I was, uh, wanting to learn and do different things. And the same thing with the wrestling. Getting that chance to learn uh, something that you might not learn during the year, being around other people kind of specific to your craft, I think is invaluable. You've got to take advantage of those things. Plus, like I said, you know, building relationships, being around people, uh, kind of have like a summer family of people that I see during the summer. And it's great getting to hang out with those people, see them, catch up with them. And you know what? Something else that all this does, and I'm going to kind of wrap it up there, kind of leave this for, for a little subcast, um, is we all do this. I think it doesn't matter whether it be wrestling, whether it be teaching, whether it be whatever your job is, uh, whatever you do. Like you start that year or that season off and you're excited for it. You're ready to go. You're ready for your A game. You got your best stuff and you're due and you start off. And then something happens like the grind of the season or the year just gets long and things happen. And by the end of the year, the end of the season, sometimes we get into that survival mode and we really just want to finish that off. And then, you know, it may not be necessarily our best stuff. And then, you know, what happens is you kind of like, you, you feel just like you need a break. So we get through the year, we finish our stuff off. What I really enjoy about my summer institutes and or summer wrestling camps or whatever else it may be, it's like it rejuvenates you. You get back in there, you get around, again, like I said, like-minded people. Uh, you get around people that have the same goals as you do, and you feed off each other. And I think that's an awesome feeling. You feed off each other. Um, you just you get excited again. You re get rejuvenated, and you're ready to go again. You're ready to, to apply new technique, new strategies, new theories, whatever it is. It just makes you want to be that better person again. It makes you uh, want to be there, want to get back into it. You're excited for it. It keeps that fire going. It keeps that passion going. So I think summer institutes, whether it be for arts education or whether it be for teachers, whatever your, your, your subject area is, whatever professionals you want to do, uh, I think sports for, in the, our case, wrestling, summer camps are great things. Helps rejuvenate you, uh, relights that fire if it's kind of dwindling a little bit. Or if it is already stoked up really high, it just burns even hotter. So it just keeps you going. I think they're great things to do. So no matter what you're doing in life, you know, find a way to hone your craft. Find a way to spend some time to maybe get away for a week or three days or just even a weekend and really focus on that thing. Be around people that have the same goals that you have. Uh, we've talked about that before and just you know travel together grow from each other learn and just get out there and you know just do the best that, that you can at what you do and i think that's a really important thing so again that's where we were the last two weeks or that's where i was the last two weeks working on some stuff um coach tyler will be back at it with you guys shortly with uh some more wrestling based stuff so but yeah you guys keep on doing what you do keep staying um around positive people, stay around like-minded people, not necessarily just like-minded people, but like people that have that same goal, same passion that can help you along the way. It is good to be around people with different different opinions than, than you, so don't get it confused um, like that. And I don't mean that, but because I have di plenty of different friends that have different opinions and viewpoints than I do. We're still friends, we still get along, we still hang out, we still do those things. But I'm talking about like right now, when you're trying to achieve goals, when you work on things, it really helps to surround yourself with those people that want the best for you and even people with uh an opposite viewpoint or just that differ from you can still want the best for you and they can still be great people to be around and positive and everything else so all right anyway you know that's where we were the last two weeks um stay positive hey find a way to hone your craft continue to work on those things no matter what what time of year it is uh find a find a way to spark that fire do what you got to do all right uh like I said, we'll be back after some more stuff a little bit later on. All right. Thanks. Bye-bye. See you. <laughs>